Hello everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, when I read uh, your uh, great topics, the great topics that you are uh, giving uh, to me, uh, many of you are praying about the same things. Uh, I want to receive uh, strength to concentrate in the world. I want to receive a strength to follow the world. I want to receive a strength to have uh, success during the week or to have victory inside of the Lord during the week. Uh, many of you also are praying uh, to receive a grace continually or uh, most, most of you also are praying for every week you are giving the prayer topic to receive guidance. Uh, praying uh, about you, uh, I start to realize also one thing. If someone is praying uh, every week, uh, I want to receive a strength. The prayer topic that I give this week is I want to receive a strength. Next week, I want to receive a strength. And next week, I want to receive uh, a strength. What it that means? It means that I'm not receiving a strength, right? Uh, it's a right prayer topic. When we are weak, or when we are not receiving grace, or when we are not receiving the guidance really well, we must pray for guidance. We must pray to receive grace. But if someone is up, keep praying for the same thing, if I keep praying to receive guidance every week, uh, means I'm not receiving guidance, or I cannot see guidance, right? Um, what I want to say, uh, this is something normal that can happen. Um, this is why uh, I make a conclusion also of praying for all of you. How can we start to see how God is guiding me? I'm supposed to receive grace on Sunday, but uh, the reality, sometimes I'm not. I just fell asleep. <laughs> uh, how can we change that? Uh, why this uh, happened to me? Uh, this is why today's title, and from today I want to start, I also uh, make in the conclusion, I was talking about that last week. I want to start, start uh, today uh, 20 days training about the secret of Jesus Christ, um, as we also are reading today in the book of Acts. Uh, I don't know if you realize there is a new uh, banner here. It's going to be there for three weeks. It means we are going to be concentrated on training for three weeks. Uh, I would like to read it all together. Uh, in yellow is a life of, a, of the evangelist. I don't know if you can read it from there. And let's read together what it says. 21 mysteries of life for healing. I really pray that uh, all of you can receive uh, this uh, kind of healing in your life. It's, we're going to talk about 21 mysteries of life for healing. This is the life of evangelist. Uh, what is the answers that I'm expecting? Uh, that you receive uh, during this training. Uh, this conclusion or this uh, training it comes uh, from your prayer topic. So I would like uh, to you that from today that you hold on to this training as your answer to your prayer topic. I want to receive a strength. I want to receive guidance. I want to receive uh, uh, healing. I, I don't know why this is coming to me. This kind of prayer topics that you sometimes say, uh, hold on to this training as an answer uh, for yourself. Conclusion, you will be able, through this training, to be concentrated in the Gospel. Why this is keep coming to me? Why this is uh, happening uh, to me? Uh, the answer is really simple. It's because I'm not able to be concentrated in the Gospel. Why I'm not able to be concentrated in the Gospel? Because I'm focused on other things. On the way to change this, little by little, we will have this kind of program or training. Um, Our pastor, even in the morning, he was saying, what are you planting uh, in my life? This is the most important thing, right? If I'm planting faith, I will have faith. If I'm planting unbelief, I will have unbelief, right? Uh, this is why, also, one answer more that we will receive throughout this training. If every day I'm able to be focused a little bit in God, in God's will, also for my life, I will be able to have that kind of fruits, right? those who are regarding of all from the God's uh, world. If I'm uh, imprinted with the gospel, uh, nothing will be a problem for me. 
But why still how many things become a problem for me? It's because I cannot be concentrated, not yet. I would like, uh, and I will pray also to all of you to receive also that kind of answer. Why always the same problems come to me? Uh, our pastor say even in the morning, I don't know if you realize, those who are suffering for the same thing continually. Uh, if you don't worship, everything will be restored. He said that. Why is keep coming to me? It's because I don't do worship, right? Uh, pastor, but how can you say that I come to church every day, every week? Uh, maybe you just come to church and <laughs> don't really do worship in the spirit and truth. When we are stopping uh, doing worship, darkness come over that place. In opposite way, when we are worshiping or when we are concentrating the gospel, if I'm able to enjoy this a little bit every every day, the God's kingdom will come upon you. This kind of words, we will talk about that also. What is conclusion? Uh, why this is coming to me? I need healing. So this is why it's 21 mysteries of life for healing. That's the conclusion. Uh, I really pray uh, you can find uh, the answers to all your prayer requests and that you can uh, have through this uh, training. This is the reason why uh, we are going to do. You can see, uh, it's really, uh, of course, it's biblical training and we will be able to be focused during three weeks only in the Gospel. So doing this, we will realize that our life will start to change. We will realize that we will start to receive the healing that comes from the world that we really need. Why do we have uh, these uh, 21 mysteries? Because you have chosen. This is the reason why you must have uh, these 21 mysteries. Because you have chosen one to uh, save yourself, your family, your country. This is God's purpose for your life. So in three weeks, uh, we're going to be focusing on these uh, three uh, Bible verses. I put the, in the Bible verse from the verse 1 to 8, so in the middle you can understand uh, what it's talking about. But I want to us to be concentrated in these uh, three things. What is this, the first one? It's only Christ. <coughs> Let's read it together. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. Uh, it's talking about only Christ, right? Who wrote the book of Acts? It was Luke, right? So he also looked uh, was writing uh, uh, the Gospel of Luke, right? Before uh, he uh, was writing uh, Acts. So in my in my former book, it's talking about the book of uh, Luke, Theophilus. I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. So what we are going to do during this week, we will start to enjoy what Jesus started to do and teach. It's the month of Calvary. What happened on the month of Calvary is John 1930. It is finished. It's the enjoyment that uh, the enjoyment that Christ finished everything on the cross. Uh, we we'll stop here. What is this? It's only God's, God's kingdom. And the, what is this? It's only the words of the Holy Spirit. Um, so how are we going to be concentrated in this way? We will have three weeks training. So this is going to be the weeks. It's going to be the first, the second, and the third week. So we're going to be, uh, be focusing this 
uh, theme. So the first week that I start from today will be focused during the whole week only on crimes. How am I going to do this? This is Monday. So tomorrow we'll be able to focus on this month of Calvary. So during the whole day, we will start to find a essence of the meaning of the month of Calvary in us. I don't know if you take a paper, it's the back next to the bulletin. It's uh, the whole uh, uh, content of this explaining there. And every day, I will also outlet the meaning, the essence, in the chat room. If some of you is not inside the chat room, make you sure that someone can invite you. So in that way, we cannot follow. So every day, I will start to oblate the essence of the meaning and even a message that we can uh, listen to understand uh, much better. So if this is Monday, where's gonna be next? Thursday, right? Tuesday, sorry. <laughs> I'm just testing you. <laughs> uh, this uh, on Monday we're gonna be focused on the month of Calvary that Christ completely finished everything. He died on the cross, finishes for my sins, uh, uh, paying for my sins, finishing with my curses, destroying Satan, and rise in the third day, destroying all the authority over death and hell. Open the way to be God. So if we have this kind of conclusion, we will be able to see heavenly mandate. What is this? It's a heavenly mandate that comes from above. It's a heavenly mandate is what God commands us. Only if you have a conclusion inside of this, only if really Christ finished with all your problems, you will be able to have and enjoy this heavenly mandate. If you uh, have this heavenly mandate about what God is commanding to you, you will be able to find or to see, oh, no, sorry, what is rightful. What is rightful? If I, if really Christ finished all my problems on the cross, and I have a mandate that God is giving to me. Rightful is to save those in the field who are the same like me. We're going to talk about this on Wednesday. What it comes next is one heart. If I if I have the conclusion in only Christ, and I'm a witness that really Christ is everything in me, and I can, I will be able to see what is God's command, what is God's mandate for me, and when I go outside in the field, I can see the rightful thing, what I can do. Then I will see in which place I must do my all in, why Christ is the answer for me, so I can have one heart in there. It's gonna be Thursday. As you know, this is going to be Friday. It's going to be Saturday and Sunday. So this is why it's three weeks. It's seven of them, and full of them is 21 trainings. Why only Christ? We, must, we will be able to understand how this. Um, as you know, maybe you saw on the news, uh, for example, Ecuador or even Japan, right? Uh, many earthquakes was happening. I was even doing the Bible study uh, to Ecuador. Why uh, this is uh, happening? Even some people, they believe in God, but they also ask, why God is giving this to us? No one can understand that. If God really is alive, why God uh, permit that many kids or people who are just dying? Why this is happening? Why God is bringing this to us? Uh, they are not seeing the only thing. They are not understanding this, basically. What is my heavenly mandate? I must, I must uh, find my heavenly mandate inside of this. 
So I told to Wendy, our sister who was here but also left to Ecuador, God is not believing this. People are living their, their life uh, worshiping idols, told that that's God, but it's not God. There is no reason that disasters to come to us. Why? People are living separate from God without knowing God. Who is the owner of their lives? Completely Satan is running the world. Why they think God is bringing them this? They are living without knowing God. They are, not, uh, they are uh, ignoring God by themselves. Even pastors say, if we are doing idol worship, there is no other option to us that disasters come to our life. Why I must have this in my life? Why I must have the conclusion in only Christ? This is the only way to block these disasters. One person who can have this kind of conclusion, it would be not. So it's not why God is giving this to us. It's because these kind of people who have that conclusion on, on the Mount of Calvary, there is no this kind of people. There is no people who are preaching the gospel to, to block these disasters. So there is no option that that disaster comes. So I can find my only. Why only is the, is the gospel? Why only is Christ? Because if it's not Christ, we cannot receive salvation. So Saturday we can be able to enjoy the 24 hours. It's enjoying Emmanuel, that God is with me, that Christ finishes everything, every day. What is the conclusion? Sunday. So if we start this from tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, conclusion next week, Sunday, we come with the answer, meditating in all of this, and we come on Sunday. To what? To change what is implicated in you. How can we do that? Throw the worship. So this day, it will become completely different. If I'm able to be focused during one week on only Christ, then Sunday service is going to be completely different. Why? I will be able to see something in my life. So on Sunday service, we will be able to enjoy or the works of uh, of the Holy Spirit will arise in us, changing what is imprinted in us. Um, then what it comes here. If we read the verse 3, it says, After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convictions proof that he was alive. It's talking about Jesus, right? After his suffering, after he died, his death and his resurrection, he appeared again before the disciples and showing the com uh, with a com convincing proof that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about them, uh, about uh, the kingdom of God, spoke to them about the, the kingdom of God. Which place was that? Was the Mount of Olives. This is what was happening. During 40 days they was concentrated only talking about the kingdom of God. We are going to do just one week, not 40 days. Which kind of secret, secret is that? Uh, if we see what Jesus did, Jesus, uh, he was preaching, or selling, or do, doing how many miracles before many people, right? You can remember, right? Five, five, uh, 5,000 uh, breads, fish, Many people was able to enjoy that, right? So even many people, Bible uh, souls, saw that many people was following just the miracles. They were just following Jesus wherever he go, because they can eat, because they can enjoy. So they was follow, following the, Jesus just because of that. No all people went to the Mount of Olives. Which kind of people went to the Mount of Olives? Which kind of people met Jesus? during 40 days and was talking about uh, the kingdom of God. Which kind of people? No, all of them. Jesus was preaching to all of them, but he was gathering just with a few, the disciples. In other words, while we are concentrating the first week in only Christ, those who went to the Mount of Olives was the people who has a conclusion in this. 
This is why first week is really important, second week is really important, and third week is really important. But without the first and second, we can enjoy the third one. So if those who have the conclusion in only Christ, what it means, those who really are witness that all the problems is finished in my life. If you can say amen, then you can go to the Metropolis. Of course we will do it all together. Probably between all of you, uh, some of you will start to receive many grace doing this. I pray all of you can receive this grace. So on next week, Sunday, we can even change what's implanted in us. Oh, this is the meaning of Christ. This is the secret of the gospel. If you really can have this conclusion, next week we will start from here. Your life also will start to change. I really pray that during this week you can have a conclusion inside of the month of Calvary. So what is the month of Olives? Those who was uh, having the secret of month of Calvary, of Calvary. In other words, those who knew that Jesus is the Christ. Matthew 16, from 13, 20. What the people say, Jesus asked, what the people say, who I am? Some people say, oh, some people say that you are like Jeremiah, like Elijah, like John the Baptist, or with, like other of prophets, some of the prophets. But Jesus, he wasn't interested in that question. Jesus asked the disciples, who the people say who I am. But Jesus, he wasn't looking for, he wasn't looking for that answer. The second question was much more important. People say that, and who, what, uh, who you, you say I am? That was the, the second one. That was the meaning of Jesus. He wasn't asking for the first one, actually. People say that I'm like Jeremiah, like one of the disciples, the one of the prophets, but who you say I am? In that moment, Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Mount of Olives. No, all of them understood that. People say, you are one of the prophets. What it means, people didn't realize that Jesus was God himself come to save us. He was one of the prophets. One of those who was doing miracles, like Jeremiah. Those who have a conclusion in Christ. If I have this conclusion on Christ, and I will go to the Mount of Olives, during in the Mount of Olives, Jesus was talking about for, uh, during our 40 days about the kingdom of God. What is this kind of blessing? We will start to see. Our calling. Only when I have this secret. This is why first week is really important. If I have a secret and a conviction that Jesus is the Christ, in that moment, when I go to the Mount of Olives, all of this it comes automatically to me. Where it comes? My calling. Why God save you? Why God call you? He has a plan for that. He has a purpose for that. If you have this kind of answer, He will start to use you to save your family, your country. 100% happen like that. Just go out, you just met this kind of people ready for salvation. This week, uh, I went to the field. I told you on the, on the way to come here. I just went to the field to evangelize. I don't know which kind of people I'm going to meet. But I know what God, that God prepared something. So I just go and discover. So I just went there and God allowed me to meet someone who can speak Spanish and someone who uh, could be connected to the system that is already there. So I realized one thing. Is the field, which kind of people like I can meet in there, is not important. The important one is me. Because I was ready to lead this person to receive salvation. God sent me that person to receive salvation. That is it. Why? I have a secret. Right? If someone asks me how can I go to Vietnam University, I can I can show him the way, right? Because I know what is Vietnam University. I can show him even a few ways. 
To me, that is only one way, right? If I know that way, I can even explain and lead some people to receive salvation. Yeah, that kind of conclusion, I will uh, be able to see the, the calling. Then I will be able to see what is necessary in the field, in my life. Then I will be able to see and to have well heart. I will be able to find a reason why I can, I must go together with Pastor Tony. Why I can go together with Max Aperu Church, with this church. I have a reason. Why? I have a reason to go together. I discovered this. What is necessary? How can we block the disasters in Ecuador? What is necessary? What is rightful? People, they are not worshiping God. They are separate from God. Bible says that if we are separate from God, suffering, disasters, there is, there is no reason that to come to us. Bible says that, but they don't believe that. They say, why God? They don't see what is rightful. If you see the rightful, you will be able to see what is necessary. Then I must serve the gospel, because this is the way to block the disasters. Why always the same thing come to me? I don't see the rightful, I don't see the necessary, I cannot see the necessary things. Why disasters keep coming to me? I must do something. What is this? It's come inside of the gospel. Then you will be able to find the answer of uniqueness. Which kind of answer is that? It's the unique answer that only comes from the gospel. Then what is going to appear? 24 hours answer. Which kind of answer is this? Pastor, one day has only uh, 24 hours. How can you say 24, 25 hours? It doesn't mean that. It means that it's the, the words that overcome even the 24 hours. This is one day, but with this kind of words, with this kind of secret, we are working like more than one day. I don't know if you are understanding it really well. What is conclusion? On Sunday, a root will start to change. I really pray that really on Sunday through the service you can be able to enjoy this kind of uh, answers. Conclusion, your life starts to change. So what is going to be the third week? It's the works of Pentecost. That was happening in Mark's upper room on the Bible, right? It's the feel of the Holy Spirit. Uh, sometimes we pray for the feel of the Holy Spirit, right? Sometimes uh, we pray uh, really strong or we really patient that the Holy Spirit works in our life. Bible shows us when the Holy Spirit works. Uh, even yesterday in the Bible study I was talking about that, right? Bible shows us when the power of God is revealed. Why we are doing like this? Those who have a conclusion in the month of Calvary. And the commission and calling of the month of Olives. When they gather together in one place and pray, the works of the Holy Spirit arise. Acts 1.14, you can read it later. When they were gathering together, he said, uh, Mary, other of the pro uh, other, uh, prophets, just a few people they were gathering inside of Mark's upper room church, of, of Mark's upper room, in the house of Mark. Which kind of people were gathered there? Not many people, but those who was knowing that Jesus is the Christ, those who have the calling for word evangelization, when they were gathering together, together and praying together, in that moment the words of the Holy Spirit arise. It's not because I'm just praying. It's not because we are just praising outside. It's not because that. 
those who have that secret. In that moment, the words of the Holy Spirit works in your life. Then you will find my mission. Then you will be, see, be able to see what is absolute. Of course, this kind of, of words of the Holy Spirit will start to change me. Continually, this kind of words is not going to come and disappear for a, a few hours. Continually, I will be able to start to enjoy this kind of words. Which kind of, which kind of words is recreation? This is something amazing. It's something that I cannot finish by myself. It's something that I cannot do by myself. It's recreation, creating me my, uh, again. Until when? Eternity. It doesn't change forever. Until the moment that become your nature. Uh, don't worry if you're not understanding uh, really well what I'm talking about. Actually, there is a lot of meaning inside of each one. This is why we're going to do one per day. So during this week, we'll start Monday, like this. Second week, we'll start from here. Third week, we'll start from here. One by one. By one. So it's going to be easier to you to follow, to understand. What is the conclusion? When we finish here, it's going to be 21 days. What is the conclusion? You will realize that if you are doing this, without knowing, my life is going into the gospel. So the answer that you can receive from that moment is the greatest answer that you can receive. Uh, don't do it in the really or simple way. We will be able to talk about that uh, later also. But try to find here a word to, hon to hold on to. Try to find here a prayer, a prayer topic with this kind of meanings. And here, it's the words that will change your life. Then evangelization will start to take place. Don't start just from tomorrow, just following or just doing really lightly, but really start to pray. Uh, start to do this uh, 21 days uh, training, praying. So what I want to share here in the conclusion is a few uh, prayer topics. Actually, if you see in the bulletin, in the bulletin, uh, there is in the announcements, there is the prayer topics also. So during the week, you can pray with that. Which kind of prayer topics? Start this training, praying for really this 21 mystery of life for healing that really become imprint truth in my nature. That really through this 21 training I will receive spiritual healing uh, my heart healing or scars, also uh, my thoughts. Healing. And as the last one, become an evangelist to be witness to the end of the earth. So through these 21 uh, mysteries, that really I can become an evangelist that God desire that God wants a witness to the end of the earth for all evangelization. I believe this is God's purpose for your life. I believe uh, this is uh, 
inside here, you can find all the answers uh, that you need. I believe that inside here, uh, you can find God's plan also for your life. Uh, don't do it uh, really easy. Really, do it every day. Praying in this way. God, look at my life. Still, I'm suffering for the same things. Still, even I want to live for the gospel, is not working in me. Still, even I want to concentrate, uh, even I want to concentrate on the gospel and hold on to Christ as answer for my life. I really believe this, but still my life is not going in that direction. So I start to pray that really, through this day, every day that I can be concentrating in the world, that really change what is in me, that really give me the spiritual healing, the, my heart healing, and my thoughts healing that I need, that really I can become a evangelist, a witness for world evangelization. Really start to pray that way. Uh, then, how are we going to do this? Uh, on the chat room, the cacao talk, I will outline every day this uh, the month of Calvary with the meaning. So you just need to read it. There is a Bible verse. So just find the Bible verse, write down the Bible verse. We also prepared a note that we're gonna give for you just for being just here in these 21 days. So, write down the Bible verse. Also, there is a link about a message, and the message is going to explain you more about this meaning. Sometimes even if we read the meaning, we cannot understand really well what it, that means. So, with that link, it's in English, of course, you will be able to understand much better. How long it takes? 30 minutes? Myself, if you and also the video later, videos used to be about 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes even 12, min 12 minutes, really short. So if you can be concentrated around 40 minutes, 30 minutes by day, your life will start to change, your life will start to go inside of the gospel automatically. How are we doing? How are uh, I did? Start to find the essence of the meaning of each one, how I find that essence, looking for the Bible verses that is in there. If you have your own uh, photocopy about this that was on the table, if you don't have it, you can take it later. Behind here, there is many Bible verses. If you find all of them and read it, you can find an essence. Oh, this is the meaning of Heavenly Monday. Biblical is also in also. What is the meaning of Heavenly Monday? So I even wrote down all the Bible verses. So it's easier to me to this gospel to become imprinted in me. I do this and I connect this with the prayer journal. That's how I do. So even in my prayer journal, I wrote down next to my prayer journal also. Just the essence. So I can connect the message of my prayer journal with that one and just keep on mind that to the one day. So tomorrow is Monday, means, what it means? You have to go to school. <laughs> it means you have to talk with this, this professor. It means some of you have to take an exam also. It means, <laughs> I know. It means many things, right? I have to go and meet this uh, person. I have to go to visit the doctor. I, I have to go to work. I have to do to go to meet this uh, other person. It means many things, but during that kind of uh, your daily day, if you are keeping in mind this, you will start to be you will start to be able to see what God is showing to you. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, sincerely, for me, it's too hard to wake up in the morning. So. If I have to go early, I will just wake up early. But sometimes, if I I used to wake up uh, with the right time to not be late. What it means, I don't have like one hour in the morning by myself. I can have maybe 30 minutes, but not one hour. So to me, it's really concentrate about this in the morning. So the video that it used to take 30, 40 minutes, 
I used to listen it at night because at night I have time. That's why. So um, you will start to catch it day by day when we start to do it. I really pray that you can receive uh, many answers throughout this training, and I believe that this training that we are starting during 20 days is the answer that we need also for ourselves, for our department. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your grace. Uh, thank you because we are starting these uh, 21 uh, days of training. Really, through this training, uh, completely arise the words of healing in our life. That really this gospel that is complete, is enough, and is all things for our life. Make us a witness of that. That really through these 20 days uh, training, we can heal ourselves, we can heal our uh, spiritual uh, being, we can also heal our mind, we can heal our thoughts. Bless us and let us bless us to be inside and go into this secret. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Then you will find my mission. Then you will be see, be able to see what is absolute. Of course, this kind of of words of the Holy Spirit will start to change me. Continually, this kind of words is not gonna come and disappear for a, a few hours. Continually, I will be able to start to enjoy this kind of words. Which kind of, which kind of words is recreation? This is something amazing. It's something that I cannot finish by myself. It's something that I cannot do by myself. It's recreation, creating me my, uh, again. Until when? Eternity. It doesn't change forever. Until the moment that become your nature. Uh, don't worry if you're not understanding uh, really well what I'm talking about. Actually, there is a lot of meaning inside of each one. This is why we're going to do one per day. So during this week, we'll start Monday, like this. Second week, we'll start from here. Third week, we'll start from here. One by one. By one. So it's going to be easier to you to follow, to understand. What is the conclusion? When we finish here, it's going to be 21 days. What is the conclusion? You will realize that if you are doing this without knowing, my life is going into the gospel. So the answer that you can receive from that moment is the greatest answer that you can receive. Uh, don't do it in the really or simple way. We will be able to talk about that uh, later also. But try to find here a word to, hon to hold on to. Try to find here a prayer, a pray topic with this kind of meanings. And here is the words that will change your life. Then evangelization will start to take place. Don't start just from tomorrow, just following or just doing or really lightly, but really start to pray. Uh, start to do these uh, 21 days of uh, training, praying. So what I want to share here in the conclusion is a few uh, prayer topics. Actually, if you see in the bulletin, in the bulletin, uh, there is in announcements, there is the prayer topics also. So during the week, you can pray with that. Which kind of prayer topics? Start this training, praying for really this 21 mystery of life, for healing, that really become imprint 
proof in my nature. That really from this 21 training, I will receive spiritual healing, uh, my heart healing, or scars, also uh, my thoughts. Healing. And as a last one, become an evangelist to be witness to the end of the earth. So through these 21 uh, mysteries, that really I can become an evangelist that God desire, that God wants, a witness to the end of the earth for all. Evangelization. I believe this is God's purpose for your life. I believe uh, this is uh, inside here you can find all the answers uh, that you need. I believe that inside here uh, you can find God's plan also for your life. Uh, don't do it uh, really easy. Really, do it every day. Pray in this way. God, look at my life. Still, I'm suffering for the same things. Still, even I want to live for the gospel, it's not working in me. Still, even I want to concentrate, uh, even I want to concentrate on the gospel and hold on to Christ as answer for my life. I really believe this, but still my life is not going in that direction. So I start to pray that really, through this day, every day that I can be concentrating in the world, that really change what is in me, that really give me the spiritual healing, the, my heart healing and my thoughts healing that I need, that really I can become a evangelist, a witness for world evangelization, really start to pray in that way. Uh, then how are we going to do this? Uh, on the chat room, the cacao talk, I will outline every day this, uh, the month of Calvary, with the meaning. So you just need to read it. There is a Bible verse. So just find the Bible verse, grow it down, the Bible verse. We also prepared a note that we're gonna give for you, just for being just here in these 21 days. So write down the Bible verse. Also there is a link about the message, and the message is gonna explain you more about this meaning. Sometimes even we read the meaning, we cannot understand really well what it, that means. So with that link, it's in English of course, you will be able to understand much better. How long it takes? 30 minutes? Myself? If you, and also the video later, videos used to be about 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes even 12, 12 minutes, really short. So if you can be concentrated around 40 minutes, 30 minutes by day, your life will start to change, your life will start to go inside of the gospel automatically. How are we doing? How are, are I did? Start to find the essence of the meaning of each one. How I find that essence? Looking for the Bible verses that is in there. If you have your own uh, photocopy about this that was on the table, if you don't have it, you can take it later. Behind here, there is many Bible verses. If you find all of them and read it, you can find an essence. Oh, this is the meaning of Heavenly Mandate. Biblical is also in also. What is the meaning of Heavenly Mandate? So I even wrote down all the Bible verses. So it's easier to me to discuss or to become imprinted in me. I do this and I connect this with the prayer journal. That's how I do. So even in my prayer journal, I go down next to my prayer journal also. Just the essence. So I can connect the message of my prayer journal with that one and just keep on mind that to the one day. So tomorrow is Monday. Means what it means. You have to go to school. 
It means you have to talk with this, this professor. It means some of you have to take an exam or so. It means... <laughs> I know. It means many things, right? I have to go and meet this uh, person. I have to go to visit the doctor. I, I have to go to work. I have to, do, to go to meet this uh, other person. It means many things. But during that kind of uh, your daily day, if you are keeping in mind this, you will start to be, you will start to be able to see what God is showing to you. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, sincerely, for me it's too hard to wake up in the morning. So if I have to go early, I will just wake up early. But sometimes, if I I used to wake up uh, with the right time to not be late. What it means, I don't have like one hour in the morning by myself. I can have maybe 30 minutes, but not one hour. So to me, it's really concentrate about this in the morning. So the video that it used to take 30, 40 minutes, I used to listen it at night. Because at night I have time. That's why. So, um, you will start to catch it day by day when we start to do it. I really pray that you can receive uh, many answers throughout this training. And I believe that this training that we are starting during 20 days is the answer that we need also for ourselves, for our department. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your grace. Uh, thank you because we are starting this uh, 21 uh, days of training. Really, through this training, uh, completely arise the words of healing in our life. That really this gospel that is complete, is enough, and is all things for our life. Make us a witness of that. That really through these 20 days uh, training, we can heal ourselves, we can heal our uh, spiritual uh, being, we can also heal our mind, we can heal our thoughts. Bless us and let us bless us to be inside and go into this secret. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.